And here we are at the final two chapters of Ghostwire Tokyo. This will be chapters five and chapter six, and this is where the story really starts to get good. As I've mentioned in some of these previous videos, by the time I got to chapter five and got into chapter five, that's when it really turned me around. You know, I, I completely turned around on, on this game. I was originally thinking maybe to give it like a score rating of about six, but after I got deeper into the game, unfortunately it takes till about five or six there before the story really starts to unravel and be revealed. You know, I would say the score for this game is probably an 8.2. It would be higher if they could fix the aiming system or the camera system because it does feel off. Even with all of the controls that you have to adjust, it never feels quite as good as something like, you know, say the Halo aiming system, which is just spot on and perfect. Uh, you know, this always feels a little bit off, so you end up doing more aiming with your left stick than you do with the right stick because the acceleration and deceleration is just, it always feels a little bit off, right? This game does feel like it might be more at home on something like a PC versus a console, but uh, if they could implement a little bit of a better aiming system, if they can make the story reveal itself maybe a little bit earlier in the game, and if they would shorten those, you know, chapters, uh, I think it would be an even better game. But, uh, you know, as I mentioned, you know, chapters five, chapter six, it is just a well done game. It's a very beautifully written game. Uh, if you've ever dealt with anything that's, um, you know, being dealt with in the video game, then you'll understand, especially once you get to the hospital scene and you're, work, you're walking through all the memories, you'll understand uh, just how well done that is. And that's really what turned me around on this game. And, uh, it really made me wish that I had known that, at, you know, much earlier in the game, because then I would have I would have enjoyed the game so much more if I would have had more story earlier. You know, like I said, I didn't really start to enjoy the game until five, you know, around chapter five or so. Uh, and that's really because of the story, because then you finally started to feel much more immersed in the story and it gave you a reason to actually fight the boss and to fight these enemies. You know, up until chapter five or so, it feels repetitive because you don't feel like you have a reason to actually be taking, you know, taking all this risk or taking these things down. But again, overall, really great video game. Yes, there are some flaws for sure, but after playing it all the way through, um, I definitely say this is something that should be on your to play list. Uh, if you have Xbox Game Pass, it's on there right now, so you can play it for free. It's only going to take you a day, a day and a half to beat. That is if you don't play all of the side stories, of course. You know, if you want to take your time with this game, you can make it last 40, 50 hours if you want to do every single side mission. Um, but I would really suggest sort of playing it through all the way first, and then maybe go back and start a new game. And uh, then you'll, again, you know, I originally didn't think I'd be replaying this game. Uh, because this kind of sci-fi is not really my style. But uh, you know, I, I enjoyed chapters 5 and 6 so much that I have found myself going back to the game now, which I very seldom do, and trying to play through it again with a much more uh, under, with much more understanding and a much better appreciation uh, for the game, which, again, unfortunately, doesn't really come to you until around chapter 5 or so. Um, so, yes, there are some flaws in the game. Yes, the aiming is weird. Yes, the enemies could use uh, a little bit of tweaking so they're so they actually are affected by all of your finger blasting. Yes, it would be nice to have some sort of a, a, a gun or something, some other kind of a weapon besides your 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 finger blasting power, uh, which is just a weird thing. But uh, you know, overall, a really good game, really poignant game, a very beautifully written game, a beautiful looking game as well. You know, it's a uh, sort of a cross between Yakuza. Uh, control and uh, if you've played Atomic Heart it feels a lot like that so a really great game a very unique game and definitely worth uh, definitely worth your time to play it and play it all the way through all right so with all that said let's head into the finale of Ghostwire Tokyo Stop! Mike's not gonna last! There! Got it! 
We get him? Show's not over. Hurry! Damn right. I'm taking back Mari. All right. So we, uh... Okay, we were on the motorcycle. We got through the fog. And... I gotta head for the tower. Okay. Let's see where we can go. Fall there. Better stop up. You ever up. wander into a convenience store without planning to buy anything? Yeah. Then before you know it. Funds, do I? <sighs> Let's get Is that full. All stocked up now. Make sure I have my recovery stuff. Where am I supposed to go? interesting sort of world but it kind of suffers from the same problem that Atomic Heart had in my opinion and that is it feels much more like a PC game than it does a console game you know but they built this game with the idea of a PC and then sort of adapted it to console I mean, it is so similar to Atomic Heart which as I already said I, I stopped playing after a while because it just became sort of repetitive and annoying to me even though it was a really good looking game I was hoping you know that I could I could like it but I don't know the whole weapon system the way the enemies worked you know you shoot an enemy you know one of those dummies or something you shoot them four or five times and they're still coming at you it's like come on guys is that like, if you want it to be hard, just make more enemies. Don't make it so they have to get shot 15 times or hit with an axe. 15 times. It's crazy. This is where I died. Full of regret. But thanks to you two, I can put that behind me now. Taking off. I have to. Got nothing left keeping me here. Sorry I couldn't stick around. Till the end. It's alright. I can't quite bring myself to believe in the afterlife. Even though I'm like this. After all, if it were real, people would be happy to embrace death. Live. Embrace your life.
Let's go, partner. So Erika was what was keeping Rinko chained to this world. And now that things are settled, she had to move on. Is that gonna happen to you too? Probably. Didn't you say he was trying to bring his family back? You heard him before. As far as he's concerned, bodies are just wrappers for the soul. Pawns for him to use. There's no way we can avoid fighting her? No. Anyone in our way goes down. No exceptions.
got me. Can't say I feel sorry for her, but I'll put her out of her misery. father. I try. Once we head in. There's no turning back. Make sure you're prepared. It's very Yakuza-like, or Judgment-like. To tell you, you know, hey, make sure you're prepared before we go in to do this. You might want to do all the sub stories, you know. And the map itself, it is very judgment like, you know. It's very similar, just the way it works, to judgment or even to like Yakuza 6 or 7. There's a lot of sub stories uh, in this. I just wasn't really interested to do. Uh, but I could see this being replayable for somebody who's really into, like, you know, supernatural sci fi games where you don't have any guns. Which, you know, I don't know. The whole finger blasting for your only weapon is kind of weird, but it is what it is. I'd much prefer some sort of arsenal, you know, like a halo. What do we got here? Come on, get to it. I don't have enough. Don't have enough money. Let's just do this, folks. All right, let's go. This is just like you know, the Judgment games and the Yakuza games. Did everyone here vanish too? Our guy's got to be lurking somewhere. Let's head up. I think this game would be even better in third person. Yeah. Gather that you may find salvation. Gather that you may not fear loss. Gather that you may not tremble under death. Gather, that you may have dignity. Gather, that you may know joy. Gather, gather, gather unto me. Be at my side, that I might be the self-
Nation of all! Out of service. Of course not. Well, I got my dodge. I was talking about the other day. Huh? What are you doing? We need to head up. Yeah, I'm just making sure I'm maxed out. Here. I got a flashlight now, but why won't you help me? Mari, what are you saying? I was in that garage the other day. It was didn't have my flashlight then. Alright, what we got here? Akito! You never even think about me at all, do you? You only ever worry about yourself. You're just afraid I'll die because of you, aren't you? What's wrong? I heard this voice. It sounded like Mari. They're probably trying to mess with your head. Hey, now what? Akito. Akito! Let's go! That's what the enemy wants. You're wrong. You're wrong. Snap out of it, Akito. If I threw myself into my work, that'd be enough to protect my family. I barely ever even showed my face at home. It was like we were total strangers. Lately, when I'd bring home a toy for my son, he wasn't even interested. Didn't care about those supercars anymore, either. Okay, okay. But I'm not gonna run from this fight. I'm gonna protect them, no matter what. So that puppet failed to even buy me some time. You asshole! The death of the body is a natural phenomenon. And in liberating our souls from their corporeal shells, we are returned to our true forms. Believe whatever horseshit you want, man! But... What are you dragging innocent people? You cross a line! People always decry the truth when forced to face it. However... Soon you too will come to understand how meaningless these earthly vessels truly are. Keep your hands off her! I have... 
have all the souls that I require. I will use them to shatter the barrier between life and death. Your sister will be the final piece. A foundation for a new age. You should be proud! I'm a weapon! The fall of the barrier will presage the rebirth of the world. And then I shall create a new paradise, though modest it will be. A place where the souls of my wife and daughter will shine for all eternity. How you will! I've just come upon a wonderful idea. I shall create a paradise for this girl as well. Such a willful spirit as hers is a rarity indeed. Perhaps she will even lead this new world. A new Mary for a new age. No, a new Eve. Enough of your delusional bullshit! You're out of your mind! Am I now? Have you asked her? Why are you so certain that her spirit wishes to return to this shell. I... Can you imagine what your sister endures beneath these bandages? Remaining tethered to this body will only prolong her agony. You don't know that. Hey! Don't listen to this bullshit! Kill him now, or the world is done for! <sighs> Akito! Get it together! The time is nigh. The world rests on the precipice of transformation. A new age will dawn! My dream will be made manifest! Get up! Follow him! Mari... What do you want? Don't let him rattle you! Up! Now! Get up or I'll ditch you for good! Is that really all you got, Akito? I can do this myself. I'll kick my own ass. Akito, you just don't get in the way. So you're scared, right? Of how she might feel. Of finding out that maybe you did all this for nothing. You're afraid to hear the truth. What do you know? Nothing. I never even knew what my own family was thinking. That's why you need to go find out for yourself. Okay, okay. I'm not stopping now. Are you with me? I am. Let's go. I gotta ask her myself. I can't die yet. Does anyone ever see that? No! No! 
Hey, KK. Is it tasty for you? No spirit taste bud for this guy. But I can sort of tell when you're full, though. Man, that sucks. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> Knew I lived fast, but I never thought I'd be off in myself. KK. Let's move. Time for a jaunt into the abyss. Right. Let's go. Chapter 5 was short compared to Chapter 4. Extremely short. Well, the abyss sure is bleak. I guess it'd be stranger if it weren't, though. You hear that? Sounds like water. Hospital. We'll do another checkup in six months. Then we can see how the two of you are holding up. Someone's memories? But whose? You thought there was five chapters. <clears throat> so I looked it up online just to see how many chapters there were, and it said five. <clears throat> but apparently there's six. And again, they should have really spread these out. They should have made it like uh, 12 chapters. Made it a bit shorter. Some of those... Chapter 3 and 4 were like really long. It would have been better to have those you know, broken up into little segments. Looks like it's a girl. You are going to be a big brother soon.
You're such a good girl, cleaning up after yourself like that. Are these my memories? school we went to. You're seriously overthinking this. I am not. This is for Mom and Dad's anniversary. Something matchy would be nice, don't you think? It all feels so long ago now. Don't be so negative all the time.
That Yukata. Yeah, it's mom. This will be a new beginning for us. He wanted to hear how she felt. I 
need to find Mari. That's right. You have to protect her. Yeah. I'm done running. Somewhere. This is it. Yeah. He's in there. And so is your sister. Such a shame it is. Neither of you can appreciate the wonders of the journey that awaits your loved ones. I came here to talk to Mari. You're not stopping me. Oh, and how will you do this? She has words to speak no longer. What is happening?
Is she doing this? No! The ceremony cannot be stopped! Ah! was not mistaken. The two realms connected at last. When the souls of humanity are freed from their mortal prisons, they shall be made pure. I shall finally be made one with my family again. end of the line.
to be! Your salvation! All become one! Sorry to disappoint, but this body's already taken. No, it's actually not that bad. It's all about learning to live together. Right. You monster! You're just too far gone to see it! Souls were trapped in here. Trapped? Does that mean? It does. They were only separated from their bodies. They should go back to normal now. Everyone. Except Amari. On December 10th, and Mom, on June 9th, I didn't forget. Of course, I... I couldn't ever forget. Never. I won't keep pretending it doesn't hurt. I'm gonna live. See you later. Next time we meet, I'll have lived a good, full life. Okay? Finally learn how to open up to your family, huh? And here I thought you'd learn to be quiet. I gotta ask you for one last thing. Yeah? Talk to my wife and my boy. Tell them I never gave up. Not for a moment. I will. 
I promise. Hey, sorry to dump that on you. I'd do it myself if I could, but I'm, I'm getting a little tired. KK. Don't get yourself possessed again, Akito. Most wraiths aren't half as charming as I am. Yeah, you're a real charmer. Can't get you out of my head. You ought to be grateful. Whole game beat. Man, they really... That last chapter was probably the best chapter in the entire game. You know? It's a shame they didn't do more of that throughout the game so people would keep playing it. Because some of those parts do get a bit repetitive. The combat is kind of weird. Again, since you're not, you know... <clears throat> you're not using a gun or anything. You're just finger blasting everything. Um, some, you know, that last chapter, in my opinion, really saves this game. I was ready to give it maybe like a six, you know, out of 10, but the last chapter, like, it's not really until the last chapter that you actually feel invested in beating the boss. You know, before that, it's like, okay, I guess I'll, you know, get rid of these people, you know, these visitors, whatever they're called, but like. Not until the end do you like, okay, you're actually going to take this guy down. Um, as far as the game being hard, it's very easy. I played it on normal, and I probably died maybe, you know, maybe five times, maybe six times the entire game. Uh, and most of that was just me getting used to the combat system. It, was, it wasn't until this last chapter that I actually understood the combat system. Uh, you know, they should do more... Uh, we have some more training up front, so it makes a little more sense. Yeah, 
Yeah, with that last chapter in there, if they, if they made every chapter as intense and engaging as that final chapter, oh, this would be like a 9 of 10, you know, game, maybe a 10 of 10, but I'd probably give it like a 7.5, maybe an 8 out of 10 overall. That's really because, again, the last chapter actually saved it. But the storytelling actually got good in that final chapter. You actually wanted to beat the boss in that final chapter. And, you know, the English voice acting, which I used at the beginning and I used at the end, it's pretty good. I used the Japanese sort of in the middle there. But because there was so much dialogue during combat, I don't have time to read what's on the screen while you're trying to fight, so you almost have to change it to English. But overall, good game. You know, I'm glad I played it all the way through. I guess we'll see here at the very end. On the Xbox accomplishment, how many people actually beat the uh, total game. But I don't think it's very high of a percentage of people. I think a lot of people end up... It's kind of like Wulong, you know. On Wulong... Something like 7% of people <laughs> who play the game actually end up beating it. Um, of course, in the case of Wulong, it's because that first boss is just so difficult. But in this game, I think people are just not playing it because the, com the combat system, the mechanics are so weird, <laughs> you know? Um, they probably, and the, sto the storytelling, again, doesn't pick up until chapter 6. Yeah. So I think a lot of people must probably, must just, uh, sort of lose interest, but it's a pretty cool game. It looks great. You know, I'm playing on the Xbox Series S, so of course it would look even better on the Xbox Series X. During the game, I wasn't really interested in doing a lot of the side missions. They just weren't interesting to me because, you know, there was not very much... Um, you don't feel connected to the game at all, basically, until like the sixth chapter or so. Um, so I didn't really feel like doing a bunch of side missions, but... You know, for somebody into the sci-fi thing... You probably would want to go back and maybe go do like a new game plus if they even have that. I don't know if they do. I guess we'll see. Uh, and then actually do some of the side missions. You know, once you once you actually get <clears throat> like the full story, it's much more of an interesting game. It's a shame they didn't put a little more of that up at uh, you know, the beginning, you know.
far as the storytelling goes and the story itself, it's it's a very Japanese style story. Definitely reminds me of the Yakuza games and the Judgment games. Except in those games, the storytelling is better. You know, because they know how to they really know how to get a story at the beginning, the middle, the end, right? To really make it hit everywhere. Whereas this could have really benefited from, you know, a little more intensity of the story in that middle section where it's sort of just clearing all those gates over and over and over. They should really split that up, have some more story in there or something to keep you actually engaged in the game. A little bit more because like I said I wasn't really engaged in the game you know from like chapters two to five <laughs> and then once we actually got halfway through five and into six that's when you actually like okay I actually want to play this game it doesn't feel like a uh, like a chore it actually feels like something you want to do you know And like I said earlier, they should really change the chapter structure because chapters five and six are incredibly short, you know, versus something like chapter four, which you could probably do it a bit faster than I did it. But I think chapter four took like four hours, whereas chapter five, I don't know, I'd have to go back and look, but it may be an hour. And then chapter six was probably under an hour so it's kind of just like the, the the pacing of the story could be done better in my opinion you know with a few tweaks this game could really rock it really could if they get the you know the Oh, what is it? Ryu RGG, the uh, Like a Dragon Studios. If they get them to sort of help a bit with the storytelling, they could pace this out a lot better. Also, with tweaking the so the mechanics of fighting would go a long way to spend more time on especially the aiming system to me it feels as I said earlier but it feels a lot like a computer game that was adapted for console um, you know it feels very point and click essentially whenever you're trying to aim it's like oh I should be using a mouse here to sort of aim and it, just, it really feels like that whereas it doesn't it doesn't feel great with your control sticks uh, you know something like halo which feels amazing with your control sticks uh, you know if they would work on just a few things i think more people would actually play this game it is a good you know i had fun playing the game there towards sort of the the end um like i said good story overall could have been paced better the mechanic could be a bit better um, but you know pretty cool game pretty cool story with a few improvements it could be even better but I'll give it like an 8 out of 10 just because that final chapter saved it 
Now, if you don't play through the final chapter, I'll probably give it like a six out of 10. You know, if you're playing from say chapter one to chapter three, it's more of like a six out of 10, just because it's a good looking game. It's all right in the mechanics. It's a, it's a little different, but it does get repetitive and kind of boring. But once you get to chapters five and six, it's really becomes much more engaging and uh, much more fun. Like I said, you know, I probably won't do it, but somebody who's more into sci-fi stuff at this point would probably want to go back and uh, you know run it through again. This time, doing a lot of the side stories. You know, but it, you know, it really is just a shame they didn't pace that story a little bit better to make you actually want to do the side stories in the in like you know in your original run.
I'm a fan of Japanese video games. They're just usually better than, uh, you know, English video games. You know, in my opinion, the best series ever is like the Yakuza series. They're just the best games, the best storytelling. The mechanics are down, except for like Yakuza 3, but... They just make the best, you know, the best game. So overall, I enjoyed it for that. But like I said, you know, a few tweaks would make this game even better. It really would. But it is worth a playthrough, especially, you know, we're dealing with uh, Game Pass here. So we can play it for free. Ghostwire Tokyo. Come on. What's next? There's the fade out. Here we go. Wow. 2.58%. <laughs> That's it. 2.57% complete the mains. Wow. Dude, that is surprising. 2%? 2.5% of people who play this game actually complete it? Dude. Listen. I understand it's kind of boring. <laughs> there at the beginning. Or in the middle. And it gets kind of repetitive. But this is worth a playthrough. It is... You know, a fun game. It gets way better once you get to, you know, chapter five, six. Man, I mean, that's that's sort of disappointing for as good as the story is. But like I said, man, that's what happens when your pacing is wrong. You could have an amazing story, but if you pace it wrong, people aren't going to be engaged through that middle part. Like when we were clearing, you know, 50 freaking gates over and over and over and over, it's like, there should be something in there. So break that up, you know. Man, that's, that's got to be disappointing to the people who made the game. Only 2% actually follow through. Jeez, it's 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 worth a playthrough, folks. You should play it all the way through. Anyway, what does this say? Okay. Okay. To a pre existing save file. See, after I actually beat the game, I almost want to go back and play it again, you know, because now I understand the combat system. Now I understand the story. Uh, duh. All right, so it took me 14 hours. <clears throat> like I said, there's some parts where I probably could have done it faster. Because I was still getting used. I was still coming off of Wulong, you know. And I was just so used to that combat system. That I did, I probably died a few times because I kept trying to click the uh, right trigger instead of the left but 14 hours, full game. That was on normal. If you did it on easy, I'm sure it'd be even faster. I've already saved that, but I'll save it again. I always like to manually save twice just in case. Because I've had problems where, uh, you know, something didn't save. In normal mode, it wasn't actually that hard. It's more of just getting used to the mechanics than anything else. All right, so I guess we're done here. Ghostwire Tokyo. One thing I did want to see. Um,
So I got uh, 25 of 66 achievements. Yeah, you can see how few people actually complete this game. So here's chapter 3, for example. 6.3%. <laughs> and people aren't, they're not dropping off because it's hard. Because it's not that hard. Like I said, it can get repetitive in that middle area. And it's like, why am I doing this over and over and over? You know, give me a little something different, new. Give me a story, you know. Give me a reason why <laughs> I'm doing this, you know. So chapter two, we got 12% and then it seems like it drops by half going to chapter three and then it drops by half again from three to four and it just stays basically. Looks like if you get to chapter four, you just can, yeah. If you get to chapter four, you basically continue on to beat it. 2.85%. And then here's five, 2.67. So very little drop off between four and five very little drop off between five and uh, <clears throat> and six but that should definitely tell the uh publishers of the game where you know where the problem is You're grabbing all those spirits. Again, it gets kind of repetitive. <laughs> There's something like 200,000 spirits. I'm not going to do that. I'm not sure who's going to do that. Here we go. Transfer 100% of the spirits. 0.31%. So these guys are like autistic on this. And they're like, we're going to do this no matter what, you know. Complete the main story after transferring 100%? Wow. That would make this game take probably 50 hours if you did that. Secret achievement. Which is what? In spider's thread mode. Alright, so that's it. Ghostwire Tokyo. Next up, maybe we'll play through Quantum Break. Or, I don't know, I want to get on 
I want to get on Ishin. Just bought that. And I want to get on it. But I don't know. Be sure to uh, subscribe for more full game playthroughs. But that, ladies and gents, is Ghostwire Tokyo. Of course, I... I could never forget. Never. I won't keep pretending it doesn't hurt. I'm gonna live, even if it means feeling weak. Okay.